So, today's session is about Zoom. Well, you all have experience. In fact, you're all experiencing Zoom right at this very moment. You are, um, some of you have used Zoom with your school, with your, with your students. Um, some of you have never used Zoom. You've only heard of Zoom. Um, so, uh, what I will do is, is I will start from the very basic to show what Zoom is. Now, if you have used Zoom, if you are familiar with, uh, with uh, how Zoom is used, how it is set up, so please bear with me because there's quite a few of us in this room who have never used Zoom before. Now, Zoom, this, what we are using is Zoom. The way you got in was I had to send you a link. I had to send you a link and you pretty much clicked on the link and you are here. So what I will show you is how do I go about getting that link? If you were the student, if I'm the teacher, this is exactly how you'd be doing yourself with your students. We need to get the link and then send the link to your students. And pretty much that's it. Now, from the other side, from my side, if you're a teacher, how do we get that link? Now, the first step is this. Now, you don't have to write this. Oh, feel free if you really want to do that. What I will do, we will make this slide available on, on our website. But if you just want to listen and, um, and just, just follow with me, how do I sign up for, for the first time? The first thing you need to do is to go to this website here, zoom.us. Now, you, as you would know, you can just type up Zoom on your Google search or something and it'll take you to this. Once you get to this, once you get to this website, then if you see on the right hand side, it says sign up, it's free. And when you click on that, um, it'll take you to this part here. It says on the, top and oh, on the top right corner, click on the sign up, it's free button and it'll take you to this. Now, it says you can enter your school email address and then click sign up. The advantage of if you have a school email address, the advantage of using a school email address is Zoom allows you to then use, um, the, the, there's no limit for, to time. Now, don't stress if you don't have a school email, you use your normal email. What that means is, what that means is that you allow to use your Zoom for 40 minute session. Now, so let's say you were using your Gmail account and you logged in and, um, but, you know, before your 40 minutes is up, there will be a reminder that will come and say uh, your session is about to finish. Now, at that point in time, you can either close your Zoom and restart all over again. Um, you can restart it and you can go for the next 40 minutes. So that's something you can always do. But uh, Zoom has allowed in this pandemic, if you, <coughs> if you use your school um, email address, it's unlimited. You can um, have your sessions for more than 40 minutes. But even if you have it 40 minutes, no, no big deal. You can re have, restart your class again. So it will ask you, so that, click on the website, sign up free, sign up it's free button and put in your login, your school email address or your normal address, and then sign up. Once you sign up, just give me a second, uh, it's a bit of a delay, there you go. Um, once you sign up, um, it will then ask you to put some more information, your name, last name, 
create a password um, and then continue. Now, you will also, under resources, um, be able to download the Zoom app. So you don't always have to go onto the internet. You don't have to go to zoom.us internet website to actually set up your classes. You can download this particular app under resources and install it. And then pretty much just like your desktop, on your desktop, there's a little icon sitting there and you can just set everything up from there. So the first thing is get, to, get your account set up, um, uh, put your particulars and pretty much sign up for an account on Zoom. Then you are now ready to set up a meeting. Now, there's a number of ways to do it, but the very quick ways, um, you open up your, your, your um, desktop app, uh, you click on the home button, um, and then click, click on the schedule button here. And schedule means when would you like to have your meeting? Um, so you put things like your, your topic, what topic it is, you know, um, year, year 12 biology, uh, your date, your other related materials, and then you press schedule. And then when you press schedule, it'll ask you what, what date you wanna have it, have the meeting on. Um, you see, this is the meeting ID. It says generate automatically. So when you receive my email to log into the Zoom, this session here, that was the meeting ID that I sent you. So this is where you create that meeting ID. Um, password, uh, just, just basically have a read through this. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, did you want to use a video? Do you want to use audio? So pretty, you know, simple. Um, sort of uh, instructions there. Uh, if you have a Google Calendar, if you want to use it, you can put it in there and then press schedule and you are pretty much ready to go. Now, once you have scheduled it, it will look something like this. This is something that I use. It says uh, physics tuition. Uh, I will be hosting it. Um, and this is all the ID that uh, it generates automatically. And this is what I copy and I send it to you via email. That's one way, or there's another button here, it says copy invitation, copy that, click on that button, it will copy. Clicking this button here will copy all of this information and then you can, you don't really have to send it via email. Email is obviously the most, the, the uh, common way to do it. Um, I can actually copy this and paste it um, in any of your social media. Although uh, I know you're not supposed to have students on your social media uh, and you shouldn't. Um, so, you know, use, use send this anywhere. Um, to let, Let's say you have a, you wanna have a meeting with your another colleague. Um, so, you know, you can copy this invitation here and paste it on your Facebook Messenger or, or, or wherever, it will still work anywhere. But when it comes for your students, just use email and you'll be ready to go. Now, um, all of these things that I have just talked about, uh, creating an account, scheduling a meeting, um, as I said, if you missed it, we will put this, um, um, a PowerPoint on our website. But here's one more thing. If you've missed all of those, don't worry. On the website that I showed you, uh, zoom.us, under resources, there's, the, there's a video tutorial for every one of those things that I've just mentioned. There's every one of those. So how to join a meeting, how to create a meeting, how to um start a meeting whom to invite so there's lots of those video tutorials here now that's all the little admin things that you have to do as a one-off just do it once registered done finished
Now here's, let's come to the fun part of it. So what's the big deal about Zoom? The best part about Zoom is not what we're doing right now. It's actually being able to share your screen. In a way, that's what I'm doing is when you're looking at my PowerPoint. But I'll show you there's a few more things that we can do. Now, once you have um, created an account, you have your, uh, um, uh, your desktop app all set ready to go, you will see at the bottom here, uh, put a, this one here, um, you will get this Zoom window, all right? This is the Zoom window. And underneath that, in one of those, it says share screen. And as I said, this is where all the magic happens. This is where all the fun happens. This is what's made Zoom so popular around the world. And the good thing is, you know, as I said, good on you guys for coming in and learning about Zoom. If you start doing this, you're actually part of what teachers all around the world are doing. You are no less than any of the teachers in, the, in this world. So um, that's the beauty about this. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you uh, how this is done. Here's the first thing that we can do. is in Zoom, when I share, the first thing I can do is to share a whiteboard. Now, as, as you can see, there's a whiteboard. Now, there are uh, some tools here, which only I can see as a presenter, which you will see as a teacher, but your audience, your students don't get to see this. And that is, I can get a pen. Well, I actually use a stylus. If you don't have a stylus, you can use your finger. Um, and I can do lots of things. I can do anything I want on this whiteboard. Um, four plus three equals seven. So I can write on it. And as I write, you can see what I'm doing. Um, As I'm doing this, think of how you could be implementing this with your students. Think how you would be able to do this. If, if you imagine your students were watching you on a whiteboard and you could, you know, just take your finger here and start writing here. That's the first thing that you could do is to actually Use a whiteboard and write anything on it. Now, you can actually share anything you want, basically. What I mean by that is, is um, what if I have a, a Word document? Let me just open up a Word document first. I thought I had it open. So if I open up a Word document on my uh, desktop, I've just opened it, you, you can see. But when I click on share, now everything that's open on my desktop is available for me to share. Now I've opened a Word document and you can now see that one. So this is an exam paper. You, Think of any worksheet that you uh, can share with your students. Um, you could, be, you know, could be a worksheet, could be uh, a test, could be an assessment, could be anything basically. Now, so you can share this here. What I would like to show you, perhaps a lot of you might not know this, 
is if you have a Word document open, if you look at this here, it says review, review. When you click on review, there is this uh, little tab that says start inking. This is actually a very powerful tool for teachers. If you have a Word document, you don't only you don't only always have to type. If I click on start inking, what that means is I can actually start writing with with a this is a stylus. Uh, if you don't have a stylus, use your finger. Um, it says here I can grab this particular pen, um, that pen there, um, maybe this one here. Change the color. And I can actually write down, uh, oops, that's liquid two. Sorry, there you go. Um, I can do this. So this is something we can do in your Word document. Um, some of you may have been aware of this, some of you not, but this is, again, in, uh, as I'm showing you some of these tools, try to think, how could you be applying this with your students? If you had a Word document, if you're a maths teacher, suppose you put a maths worksheet up, you could actually show students on your Word document. Now I'm gonna use my finger here uh, rather than a pen and it still works. Four times two equals eight. So there's something quite powerful that you can do if you have a Word document. So here are my notebooks, there's my science, there's my chemistry, chemistry. So in one of those, I actually created my biology exam. And then I went file printout, file printout, and I just grabbed the biology exam. And I just printed the biology exam in one note. And what I was showing you here, if it's a PDF document, it will print out as separate pages. This is the front page of your bio exam there. This is page two, page three, page four, page five, so forth. Now, and, and, and it, it just prints out, each, each page is a tab. Very, very convenient to answer. If you wanna show your, let's suppose you're answering some PDF exam paper with your students. Now, um, uh, let me have a go at this. Uh, page seven, I wanna answer this question or show my students how to answer this particular question. So right on top here, it says draw. Draw, and same idea as I showed you about inking with Word document. So here's, I'm gonna do question number 20. And it says draw, sorry, that's, yeah. Um, question 20, I wanna draw some planet squares here. Yeah. Um, I don't know, uh, F, F, S, S. Um, if you're a biologist, you'll probably know I have no idea what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but you can see, you, you get the idea. You can grab a highlighter and show your students this question is about Punnett squares. And the most important thing is that in this population, there are 20 chicks or something like that. So there's the use of OneNote and I'm still using OneNote. As I said, you know, really, really powerful tool for teachers. And you're all seeing my, what I'm doing on OneNote on Zoom. So you can use, uh, whiteboard, you can use Word document, 
you can pretty, pretty much open anything you want, anything that you open in your desktop, you can show that on Zoom. But I'm just showing you one more feature of, of using OneNote there as well. Um, what else can I do with, um, with, uh, with Zoom? So let's say I go find a find a video. Uh, yep, physics. Um, so I've got this video there. Now you can see I just started to play, but I don't think you quite you could quite hear the sound. What you need to do, I found the I found the YouTube that I want to show my students, and on this section here, where it says more, then one of the um, tabs here that comes up, it says is share sound. So I share sound, and now if I play. Parents will remember life before becoming new parents. This is the kitchen. In this video, we're going to cover some basic concepts such as displacement, velocity, acceleration, projectile motion, Newton's three laws, forces, momentum, and, and things like that. So for those of you who want a basic intro into physics and just want to understand some principal ideas involved in physics. Let's have a look at our rugby. Okay, now, um, just one more last thing. Um, if I go back to, let's say, um, um, here you go. Um, if I go, let's say I find a document, I need to share this with you again. Stop share. There you go. Okay. Now, um, this here, um, what I was showing you is, sorry, I'll have to stop this and start again. I'll start share and go here. Okay. Now, um, what you can, apart from the fact that you can do all the writing and annotating, you can actually give access to one of your students to do this. Uh, Shono, are you there, Shono, now? No. Um, does does anyone want to have a go at writing something? You can you can actually click on this button in your Zoom. It says right at the bottom. It says annotate. Have a try. 
So this is your students who can write and you can see from the other side. Anyone want to try? Arish, you want to try? There you go. Christian, good man. George, write something. You can see Prabhashni, Mary. As, so imagine, as your students coming in to do this, you can actually see which student is writing because I can see your names up here. Okay. And you can see your names, they appear there as well. Thanks guys, you've really made a mess out of my worksheet. Just joking. Okay. That's pretty much it that I wanted to show you about Zoom. So, um, you need to log in. You need to go to the zoom.us website. You need to register. You need to schedule a meeting. By schedule a meeting, you will get a uh, meeting ID and you just need to share that ID with your students. Um, can I just also say, when you get your ID, um, um, when you get your ID, oh, by the way, if, if I have naughty students like all you have done big mess on my worksheet, you can actually stop the students as well. You can actually um, um, go on to more and uh, disable annotations. There you go. Um, disable annotations for others. So I can stop all of you from writing right now. So it's only the teacher who can write. Um, what else? So, um, so I was saying, uh, you need to go onto the website, register, uh, schedule a meeting, get a meeting ID, um, and just send a link to your students and arrange a time on the time to meet your students. And, uh, there you go. Share your screen. Um, you can share anything you want. I just showed you, you can share a Word document, you can share a whiteboard, you can write anything in the whiteboard, you can use um, a PDF, but you can't write on a PDF, but that's why I showed you, you can actually do this on OneNote. Um, that's it, I think. Um, can I ask, that before you go, before you leave, uh, it is very important for us to know your full name, your email address, so that we can send your certificate for attending tonight. Um, is that link still there, Rajiv? All right. If you look in your, um, there would be a, um, yeah, there's, there's, thank you. Uh, if you see in your, in your, um, in your chat, there is a form, a Google Docs form again, Please, please, please um, fill this in with your full name, your email address, and we've asked a couple of other statistics, for example, which school you're from, uh, what subjects you teach, so that we can better target our sessions like this. Um, um, and then, you know, bring more of these sort of things to you. Um, before we all go, can I thank you again for coming here Friday evening uh, and participating, um, I urge you, this is really important. Please don't leave tonight just saying, oh, that was a good PD and that's the end. I would really, really urge you to take action from here. I would really would urge you to go, go to the website, google.us, log in, register there, log in, um, 
try it out with your colleagues first. It's mm-hmm. really very easy. Um, try it with, with, with another fellow teacher. Um, you know, the, learn all the functions. It's, it's once you log in, there's a little bar that comes up. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, share the screen. It'll, whatever desktop, whatever things you have got open, you have, if you have five Word documents, you can share, share any one of those. You can have, you know, YouTube, PDF, whatever you've got open, you can share that with your students. Um, remember also that My Teachers Fiji is actually your website. It's for, there for you to share your resources. We, are just, we have just set up this website, send it to us, we'll be more than happy to put things up there for you. Um, remember, it's all about sharing. It's all about collaborating. There's nothing for us to gain by competing with each other. Send it to us. We'll be more than happy to um, share stuff with you. Um, does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any questions? Anyone want to ask any questions? Uh, good evening, sir. Hi. I'm Laite from Senegal Central College. I uh, just uh, have a question because since I came in late to this uh, Zoom uh, meeting, or maybe have to go about Zoom, uh, is there any other time then to conduct this TV again? Sorry, I couldn't quite un- get what you were saying. C- can you ask that again? Are you going to conduct the same PD again any other time? Oh. Um, this same session. Look, I'm. I'm. We are more than happy to. We are more than happy to uh, continue offering uh, webinars such as this. Uh, we are. We have. Been, we have been recording this particular session, and uh, we will place the recording of this to um, on on our website. So please sign up on our website again to access these resources.